Hey guys, welcome back. And as you might have guessed, we are going to be talking about the NAD C700. This is actually our first NAD product that we're going to be reviewing. So thank you to Nick and the Lembrook team for sending us this model. So let's start it off and talk about the history of NAD. Founded in 1972 and now sold in over 80 countries, NAD Electronics is renowned for their award-winning line of high-quality components for audio, home theater, and custom installation applications. To this day, the brand continues to design and manufacture some of the most acclaimed and affordable hi-fi components that introduce modern features and technologies meant to appeal to the new generation of audiophiles. So what are my first impressions of the C700? For what it does, I'm absolutely stunned with its low profile. There's a lot to love about this powerful unit, but it keeps a very small footprint while doing it. It does also look very much like the NAD Master Series M10, and in some aspects, it can be a budget-friendly alternative. It also comes with a wonderful LED display at the front of the unit that looks simple and elegant with its artwork display. Now let's talk about power. The C700 is a two-channel that can handle 80 watts, both at 4 and 8 ohms RMS. Basically, this means that it can consistently push 80 watts without any issue. Plus, with a dynamic power of 120 watts, it means that it can handle audio spikes with ease when the track becomes a little more dynamic. All this with a 20 to 20 frequency range and a total harmonic distortion of less than 0.04%. This is really cool because what the C700 does is it continually pushes the 80 watts and when the audio spikes happen, it uses the dynamic power of 120 watts and it keeps the total harmonic distortion as low as possible and close to 0.04%. On the exterior, there are some functional tactile buttons on the unit, but mainly this is the primary functioning dial that can be used for multiple different uses, but mainly just for volume. On the back of the C700, we have a multitude of inputs, including two analog ends, a pre-out, a sub-out, coax, optical, LAN connection, USB, and lastly, the HDMI eARC. With the HDMI eARC, there is an option to control the volume through the TV, but all the other controls will be done specifically through the Blue OS app on your mobile device, tablet, or laptop. You might be wondering, well, what is Blue OS? Well, we'll have another video on that specifically, but long story short, it's a premium multi-room audio technology that lets you manage all your music and stream to any Blue OS enabled stereo system or speakers using a phone, tablet, or computer. The Blue OS can wirelessly transmit lossless music up to 24 bits at 192 kilohertz at lightning fast speeds with no lag, zero loss in audio quality. Let's talk about the sound quality. The C700 is able to produce a very detailed, rich sound that will bring joy to any audiophile. The bass is rich and textured, especially when it's turned up a little. To add more punchiness to the bass, we suggest adding any sub to the C700 and adjusting the crossover in the Blue OS app. The mid-range I found especially unique given its rich and smooth sound. It really lets the detail shine on its own without trying to push something that isn't there. The tweeters keep a detailed and crisp sound through and through and blends in well with the entire experience. All in all, the NAD C700 Blue OS streaming amplifier is a compact, just add speaker solution that embraces all the possibilities of the streaming age, offering state-of-the-art amplification that will transport you to your favorite musical destination. It really is a premium integrated amp that pushes power consistently and handles spike with its dynamic power. It's a great alternative to the M10, but expect some differences between the two. If you do have any other questions, remember to leave it down in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video, and remember to subscribe and hit that bell to stay up to date with all of our new content. And as always, we'll catch you in the next one.